Hello everyone, it's Mish here, um, and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you come back. Um, and for my regular subscribers, thank you so much um, for all your continued support. Um, it does really lift my spirits um, to read all your comments and uh, sometimes helps me get through a difficult day, I guess. Um, so today we're going to be working in or doing the Marguerite Miller cha challenge. Uh, if you have been watching the challenge, uh, you know that I have picked this up at a thrift store um, and thought it would be an excellent book <clears throat> for this year's uh, 2024 Marguerite Miller uh, collage. Uh, so uh, this is week uh, four. Well, wow. this is week four. Um, and the prompts, I'll get myself set up here. Um, so the prompts for uh, to this week is something related to a religious or secular holiday, a ledger paper, a game or puzzle piece, uh, something you find in a garage, uh, a pair of something, and a bonus is a zigzag. So this week, I think I've got everything. Um, I started by already putting down just a piece of ledger paper. Um, I had gone through a number of different ones and thought about collaging a bunch of different types of uh, ledger paper. Um, but as I said kind of in the beginning, uh, this year for me is going to be a, more about um, a theme or, um, I don't know, visually appealing. Um, so um, for this one, I thought that I wanted to focus more on what's going to be the focal images as opposed to the background. But with this one here, I just felt that the background is a little bit too sharp. So I've just got some, just some basic acrylic paint um, and I've got a dry brush. I don't want to add too much water to uh, the pages because they are uh, thin. Well, they're not as thin as my mole scheme last year, but, um, but I did want to just go along and just soften some of this, uh, the print on it, um, just so that it doesn't uh, pull into the foreground. Um, my focal image is mainly going to be around the, um, the center. So I just need to kind of dab around, um, and just kind of soften that, um, that, that uh, ledger paper a bit. Um, and then if, if I don't use too much and you use a dry brush, uh, you should be able to kind of just fade that out a bit. Uh, today is, I don't even know what the date is. It can't be the 17th already, is it? Uh, today's Wednesday, looking at my phone, the 17th it is, holy smokes. Um, and my weather today, I'm in Halifax. Um, we had a bit of a little rainy spell. Um, wind and rain warning here a couple days ago, but it really didn't amount uh, to that much. Okay, and then I'm just going to soften that line. I think that should be fine. Okay, so I'll get that out of the way before I end up sticking my finger in it, because that's generally what happens. And then I just have a little jar here that I brought into the craft room just to stick my brush in until I have a chance to wash it. Okay. So, um, so for my main piece, um, it's going to fit a pair of something, but it's also going to, um, draw into the whole theme. And I'm just wondering whereabouts that I want this. I think I want it, uh, pretty much center, I think. But for now, I'm only going to put a, um, a little bit in the middle. Actually, I'm going to use a bit of score tape because score tape holds really well. And I'm not going to put down the edges yet because I'm going to be tucking a lot of things around the edge of this. This uh, image I got was a greeting card. Um, it was like a trifold gre greeting card and this was the back of the card. Um, so I cut it off. I think right about there. I'm just kind of thinking about my other images. Oh, well, it's down now. Um, yeah, so I just cut it up and trimmed it. And I just use that kind of as that is that focal point. 
Um, right. So then uh, a zigzag pattern. Again, I looked around for a number of things and I just found this in one of my paper pads and I kind of liked it. So I thought I would kind of use that as uh, like a zigzag thingy and I kind of felt that it went, uh, just trying to find a place that I can store my, I think that would work, um, my uh, prompts, sorry. I, I like to have a place I can tuck my prompts in and it doesn't have to because I can fold the prompt. So I'm thinking that we'll just do this. So this is my zigzag. I often, last year I really wanted to get all the prompts, including the bonus, and it was a bit of, and that was kind of my challenge. Um, but this year it's more about, actually that's not going to work because I want that. I want that this way, and therefore it's going to be covered in. That's all right. So, and I like to offset things a little bit. I'm thinking like maybe maybe there okay so that's my zigzag so yeah so last year i really wanted to get all the, all the even the bonus and and that where now i just really want to just create my image um using you know getting you know five the five prompts or substituting um so i, I still am going to try to follow the rules of the of the collage um so then I have this bicycle, which is something that would be found in a garage. Um, and this came from Vicky P's, um, one of her eph eph sticky ephemera. So there's some sticky on the background. Um, and then a gamer puzzle piece. Well, I was doing a project in which I had cut out from my, um, my card paper pads a bunch of puzzle uh, pieces. So I thought about doing kind of like a puzzle piece thing. And then I found these little cards and I thought I wanted you, I wanted to use these. Um, and they went kind of with my color palette of what I was trying to do today. So I thought I would kind of make a little border by tucking these uh, on, in the edge so that they kind of poke out. And what better hand than poker? Except I think a Royal Flush beats four of a kind. Um, uh, so that would be my game, my ledger, some, something you find. So something related to a secular, re religious or secular holiday. Well, here in Nova Scotia um, in uh, next month uh, is um, what we call Heritage Day. And what Heritage Day is about, it only started a few years ago, and it's just a provincial holiday, I think. Um, for here for people in Nova Scotia um, and what what it says um, online is that um, celebrate it the third Monday in February Nova Scotia Heritage Day is an annual reminder of our storied past and our opportunity to honor the remarkable people places and events that have contributed to this province's unique history so um, so we get a paid holiday um, in February um, so that kind of brought me on to like, what is heritage and what is my heritage? Um, so that's kind of the theme that I wanted to go with, with, uh, this week's prompts is sort of like a heritage kind of theme. Um, so on top of that kind of theme, um, sometimes do you get like in your brain, you have all these ideas that kind of connect into a central idea, but sometimes you really can't articulate all those ideas. <laughs> Am I making sense at all? Um, so my partner's, um, his great aunt was a war nurse. She served in uh, the First World War. And I've been reading, uh, she, after she died, they found her diaries um, and um, they wrote, her diaries are, are in a, in a book form. And I've been rereading that and it, it kind of played into, I guess, on my mind is why I kind of settled on the heritage theme, um, in, in our, our past and our heritage, um, is largely related to, you know, people who fought for us and, um, you know, a courage as a nation 
and you know so it's our genes and what you know throughout history have been brought to where I am today as far as my family um, but it's also I feel my heritage is my country and those who fought for my country um, and in the diaries she mentions like where she was in France it was like these dunes and that's why in, um, at first I was drawn to this image because of these, it kind of reminded me of dunes. Now where she was, was were Sandy dunes because she was on the, um, I believe she was on the in English channel where she was first based in France. But, um, and these of course are, look like grassy hills, but that's kind of why it, I was first drawn to that image. And then, um, and then it fit with like a pair of something. Um, so I also found some white poppies and there is a bit of a controversy, I guess, not necessarily in my mind, but there's a controversy about the white pop poppy. I think, um, I don't really understand a lot of it except for the fact that, um, it's kind of felt that the white poppy, it symbolizes more peace than, um, a symbolizing a celebration of the actual fighting. If I understand it correctly. Um, but the poppy is associated with, you know, war and peace and, um, and I think kind of fits with my heritage theme. So I found these kind of poppy images, um, in one of the digi kits and I had the little piece, um, of the person it's wild rose, bo uh, bo 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 boho on Etsy. Um, and I just really thought that this would go excellent in my collage kind of peeping out out there and I really like this one so I think I will use this one and I will find a place to stick this because I got more things I want to layer up it may not work this week but anyway um so so yes yeah, so I thought I would do my background collage with with that And just kind of stick that into the background just kind of peeping out as a little as a little bit of something and so then the other poppy that I found was just the, the traditional white poppy or red poppy and I thought I would just tuck that kind of in there because uh, I liked how it kind of peeked out and filled in this little spot here. It's kind of like a, like I'm just going along with my images. I also had found this little, the, this little ledger. Um, it's got this on it. I don't know. I don't want that, but, uh, I could use that as a, as a, as a grounding. I'm not sure. Um, so then I'm going to get my cards down. Um, so we'll tack those down. And I really love those cards. Put that one in behind. So how are you guys finding your prompts and your life, I guess, right now? Because even though it's kind of getting in into the end of January, there's still a lot of stuff to do. I'm just finding that I'm really busy with things and I just don't have a lot of time. I, w I have today and yesterday off and I was going to do a lot of collaging and stuff yesterday, um, but decided I wanted a bigger bookcase for my office because that's where I keep all my, um, all my uh, books and collage stuff. And I only had a short one. So I ended up most of the day, going to Ikea, getting the bookcase, building the bookcase. Um, I also found this little image, which was another greeting card that I had got. And it has, um, yeah, I don't think it'll work. It had just a pair of birds and I thought that would be, that would be cute, but it would, uh, the birds need to kind of be on the other side. So that's not going to work. Um, I did find, um, some flowers that I had and I thought this would be like a pair of um, bouquets or a pair of wild uh, flowers 
So I wanted to, oh, I wanted to not rip that one, but that's what happens sometimes. Let's see. So I thought that with these I can tuck it around the edge as well. At least that was my initial thought before I, <laughs> and I can't get a hold of it. Again, my thumbs are playing up. I got arthritis in my thumbs and sometimes the, the certain uh, mo movements uh, are a bit difficult. So besides the collage, are you working on any other projects? At the moment, I do, uh, if you haven't seen my Daphne's diary, um, I do a Friday. Well, it's going to be every other Friday for a while just because of being being busy. So with this, I just wanted to um, peep out. And I didn't want it to take, take over, but just add a little bit to the background. Same with this one. So this is sort of my second wildflower bouquet. And I just want to maybe put that and just cover up that little white space in the bottom. And then I found another image and this was um, from, from my porch prints. And I think it really sums up the whole collage in my mind. And it's this house and it's like I'm carrying my house which symbolizes my family my heritage you know my the whole thing um, I'm carrying that with me because wherever we go we carry our heritage and our heritage isn't necessarily just um, t um, tangible material things it's courage bravery um, you know, being uh, moral, uh, our integrity. So, and I think that that is a great legacy to leave um, to those that are in our family, if I'm saying that right. I also found a couple of other little flower tags that I thought would kind of go well there. And then I have um, a bunch of butterflies um, and I have two pairs so I have four of them and I kind of thought about just doing something doing something like that to kind of round out things so I'm just gonna get this down and I'm trying to use more tape this year largely because tape doesn't have any liquid so it's not gonna tend to warp my pages as much as glue so I like that I've got that down and um, so kind of like how that goes oh, and then when I do use glue um, there's two glues that I, I typically use and I use um, uh, Elmer's glue it's called strong all so it's not like just the school glue. And I use Fabri-Tac or um, another version of the Fabri-Tac is the, is the uh, three in one, I think it is by Beacons. Um, I, we, I can't, I don't know how to, I guess I could go online, but we don't get glitter glue. The only real craft stores we have around here um, is we have Michael's and then we I have um, a craft store that's almost an hour drive away, I think down in Windsor, um, which is called my stamping stu studio, which I do tend to try to go, go down a few times a year. Um, but other than that, but I think I could probably get glitter glue online. I'm not sure. Um, I think that that would go good there. So I'm thinking that I'm looking around my desk. I could, um, I could put some little bling bling on there, but you know, I don't think I really want to. I'm, I'm generally one that I love the bling bling, but, um, so have I actually got a spot? Yes. Um, so we've got it all. We've got our religious holiday, we've, which is our heritage day. Um, we have some ledger paper in the background. 
Um, we have, I could make that a little bit, no, well, you know, I kind of, I was going to fade that a bit more, um, those background bits, but I kind of really like it, so I'm going to leave it. Um, my puzzle, my game is a uh, rummy or poker, um, something you find in a garage. Uh, there's a couple pairs of things. Um, there's two pairs, there's that pairs, there's pairs there, um, and a zigzag pattern. Uh, so I thank you a lot for watching. There are other people who are doing the collage as well. You can do the hashtag 2024CWP. Uh, um, you know, Bar Barbie over at N Nellie and Ruth Designs. You can check her out or Debbie at My Vagabond Style. There's Susan Su at Susan Gasway. Um, I know Inked Pulp is doing it as well as, I think it's Tattered pa Paper and Lace. Um, and they all do wonderful things um, as well. So uh, be sure to check them, uh, them out. This vi video is going to come out on January the, I don't know, Sunday. So 17, 18, 19, 20, I don't know, tw this, this Sunday, um, which would be the 21st. And then my next Daphne's Diary is the 26th. Um, but I am going to do a couple other little crafty things. I'm going to use Wednesdays um, if I do something crafty um, that I'll, I'm going to put it on, uh, on a Wednesday. Um, and I'm hoping to get something out um, next Wednesday. So you can check that out too. Um, but I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, um, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and until we meet again, um, I hope that you stay uh, safe and well. And bye for now.